In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop mental toughness in tennis. Being mentally tough in tennis means being able to stay calm and focused whatever happens in a match. By the end of this video, you'll know what you'll have to do to achieve that. It's Neil Endicott here from TennisMentalSkills.com, teaching you how to win the mental game of tennis. So mental toughness in tennis is not really about being tough in the traditional sense. So usually when we think about toughness, we think about qualities like grit and determination and courage. And these are great qualities, but they're not the core qualities of mental toughness. Actually, the mentally toughest tennis players adopt quite a gentle, quite a light approach to their mental experience on court. And this enables them to deal calmly with the difficult emotions, the difficult events that always occur in competitive match play. Okay, so they've got the ability to stay calm and focused at moments of intense pressure. So think Federer, think Nadal, think Djokovic, okay? These great players fully understand the quote which is printed above the player's entrance to Wimbledon Centre Court. Okay, you've probably heard it before. This is the quote. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. Okay, so that quote tells you what mental toughness in tennis is, okay? It's the ability to treat triumph and disaster just the same. So how do we treat triumph and disaster the same on court? Well, it's not really by being tough with ourselves, okay? So the tougher we are with ourselves during a match, the harder it is to find the freedom and the flow that we need to play our best. What you have to do is adopt a light mental touch. You've got to develop an ability to notice your triumphs and disasters on court, accept them, and move on quickly. In a sense, you need to be soft, not tough. You've got to be able to relax quickly, whatever's going on on the court, whatever's going through your mind. Okay. So this is the psychological skill that all the great champions like Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, They've got that. And maybe at first, you know, this can seem counterintuitive. You might think that you've got to try really hard mentally in order to perform well in tennis, uh, that you've got to control your emotions on court. You might believe that you need a really sort of strict mental discipline to maintain concentration during a match. But I'd encourage you to ask yourself this question. When you're playing your best, when you're playing in the zone, are you trying hard mentally? Are you being tough with yourself? No, you're not. You're actually in a state of flow and relaxation. You're not consciously doing anything much with your mind at all. You're in the moment, right here, right now. And do you ever notice what it feels like when you make a mistake when you're playing in the zone, when you're playing your best. Well, it doesn't feel like that much at all when you make a mistake. You simply accept the mistake and move on. So you've got that inner confidence, that inner peace, which knows that the mistake is not meaningful. And it's the same thing when you hit winners when you're playing in the zone. Okay, You might well get that rush, that feeling, that positive emotion, but you don't get distracted by those feelings. You just let them be and you move on. And that is real mental toughness. That is what mental toughness in tennis is all about. The thing is, you don't need to be playing in the zone to experience this mental approach to tennis. So anyone can learn how to treat triumph and disaster the same on court. The key is to regularly practice noticing what's going through our minds. Okay. You need to regularly practice allowing your experience to be as it is without interfering with it, not trying to change it. And you've got to regularly practice refocusing the mind on the present moment, on what's happening right here, right now. So the more that you try to interfere with your mental experience on court, the less calm, uh, focused, mentally tough you're going to be. The more you engage with emotions on court, um, you know, whether positive or, or negative emotions, the more distracted you're going to become. So the truly mentally tough mind is a mentally soft mind, 
Okay, so understanding that is a truly essential part of mastering the mental game of tennis. If you want to train your mind so that you can stay calm and focused on court in every match, then head over to my website, tennismentalskills.com, where there's a load of information about the method that I teach, mindfulness-based tennis psychology. I offer coaching one-to-one via Skype, so please let me know if you're interested in that. Send me an email through the site. I've also got a downloadable course, which uh, you might be interested in. That's available on tennismentalskills.com as well. If you've got any questions or comments, then please ask below and I'll respond. Please also subscribe to the channel for more videos on the mental game of tennis. And for now, thanks for watching. Keep improving your mental game and I'll see you soon.